Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Here we are playing Dragon Quest VI, and it's us. Out. Oh. Well. That's great. Oh, look, everybody's dancing. Oh, that guy's having a rough time. He's on the ground. This is a great party. Drink up, buddy. Okay. It is a great party. There's a big, big boy. Teddy's coming up here. I guess I'm not really sure what I would do. Oh, what's your deal? <laughs> this is great. I'm having so much fun. Hi, Mr. Boy. Kitty. Ooh, kitty. Meow. Okay. Hi, bud. Oh, he lay he likes to lay down next to my desk now. Well, maybe I should go back to the elder's house or something. Oh! Hello! Psst, Brantley, over here! What's this all about? <gasps> They're gonna get married! Before you say no, just think about it. Will you marry me? I'm sorry. After all, I'm still... Still what? I'm still in love with Brantley. I don't believe it's because of age. I'm already 19, and you'll be 18 this year. No, no, no. Age has nothing to do with it. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm just not ready. Oof. That's tough. Is it something I said? Just leave her alone, dude. I'm sorry. Please understand. Something just doesn't feel right. Myself, even this world. I need some time to think about it. That's all. Goodbye. Okay. And that's it. Leave her alone. Don't talk to her anymore. I know it's hard, but just, like, quit it. Tanya, I don't understand. Is there someone else? Huh, shooting star. I'm gonna go find that shooting star and I'm gonna eat it! Oh, well, that went badly. I'm envious. They're so young. I wish I had a girlfriend. What are you talking about? They just broke up, dude. That's weird. Hello, anyone need to speak with me in here? Come in, Brantley. I heard that you've been to the Phantom World. Yeah. And the Mountain Spirit has asked you to embark upon a journey. You should see the King of Rydok. Oh, good. I got a pass. You'll need this to get into Rydok. You're already 18. You're old enough to make your own decisions. You should follow your heart. But if you don't follow your heart, nothing will happen. So, like, don't just hang around in town or whatever. You have to advance the game. I mean, what? Oh, well, okay. Not gonna buy anything here. We gotta go to Rydok. Boo, ba, 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 bee, ba, boo, boo, boo. Time to leave and go to Rydock. I don't know where that is. Yep, okay. So I guess we have to go down this mountain. Oh. Hello? Oh, it's like a baby drug. Okay, I guess that's how they keep me from going where I want to go. Um. Oh, what's your deal? Hello? Oh, bag, the fireworks are so loud. Sorry, kid. Well, what about here? Rand's not here. Have you seen him? This stinks. What? Wait, what stinks? I guess I guess he told her about what Tanya said. Boy, I just keep yawning. I've been yawning a lot recently. It's not fun. Oh. 
Is that you, Brantley? You should go see the elder. Okay. Well, I did that. What? I can't hear you. I guess I've had enough. Okay. Oh, he wishes he had a girlfriend. Okay. I did. I saw the elder. Looks like I'm kind of stuck here. Okay. You should follow your heart. You know, like I said earlier. Do it. If you don't, you'll die. I don't know. I just made that up. Well, hello. Who are you? All that cooking has make me tired. Can you dance? Oh, you're not a good dancer. Do you want to learn the forbidden dance? Just kidding. <laughs> Bradley, you're such a pervert. What? What just happened? That was so weird. See? Oh, no. I don't want to talk to a dresser. See, if you talk to the dresser first, you'll find more stuff. All right. Apparently, I'm a pervert because I want to learn... A forbidden dance. Okay. Well, I've gone in every... direction. kind of don't understand why this guy's in the way still. Um... Can you get out of my way, please? Okay, so this is clearly the game's way of telling me that I can't go that way until I do something, but I'm sort of confused about what to do. I don't think there's any other way that I can go. I mean, unless I can... No, I can't. I can't get off this mountain. Huh. Okay, I gotta figure out something else to do. What what haven't I tried? Went in those two buildings. Dancing people everywhere. Should I talk to these people? Oh, Brantley, it's been a long time since I've heard about the Phantom World. Surely this is somehow related to you seeing the Mountain Spirit. How can I celebrate where the Demon King is going green the world? Man, I can't. I can't stop. Oh. oh, hello. What happened to Tanya at the ceremony was very unusual. If she really became the Mountain Spirit, why were you the only one to see? Hmm, there are many strange things in this world. Yes, very helpful, Your Excellency. Your worshipfulness. Um... Yeah, dude, I am f fresh out of ideas. <laughs> um, he told me to follow my heart. And that's Wait. This splendid armor is not for sale. Well, fine. I don't care. Huh. Yeah, I got no clue, dog. Um. Can I get over here somehow? This was somebody's house. This is somebody's cow. Huh. I mean, everybody's dancing. Don't really want to interrupt the dancing. Can I search this pot? Nothing. There is no one in that direction. Okay, I... What... Maybe I just need to go sleep in my house, you know? Welcome home, brother. I'm tired after performing in the ceremony. Are you tired? Sure. 
Sleep well. All right, that's probably what I needed to do, I guess. Oh, let him dance. The festival continued late into the night. Okay. Oh, I guess I gotta hit a button. <laughs> Mubby! People danced and sang until dawn. It was the best party of the year. It was the best party of the year. Then the sun rose. And everyone died. Oh, brother, you're finally awake. I tried to wake you several times. You must have been very tired. Search inside my dresser, but there was nothing found in the dresser. Okay, well. I heard from the elder that you're going to Rydock Castle. If you could see the king, then you might learn more about this world. Like the phantom world and the demon king. There's so much that I don't understand, and I am worried. I feel that something terrible will happen if nothing is done. That is why I'm not stopping you. Brantley, please promise that you'll return safely. Whatever! Wow. Okay. I think I've got everything I need. So let's just go. So just go. Bum, 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 bum. A friend of the show, Emily, is chatting with me um, about uh, a potentially, um, no, not potentially, a, a procedure that would... Uh, Uh, make it so that she couldn't lift things for a while um, uh, as as a sort of, you know, like while you're healing. And she was like, oh my gosh, I've never ever had a surgery before. Hey Bradley, I've heard that you're leaving us. I'll take care, good care of Tanya, even though she doesn't like me at all. I may not seem too serious, but I am dependable. Not everybody thinks so, but please don't worry. Okay. Wait, I think I can just drop down the hole. Um... Yeah, that's kind of wild to me, um, because I've had several surgeries. It's um, friend of the show Emily and I are sports friends, and she plays soccer and softball and stuff. And it's, I don't know, like I think I just kind of assume that somebody who does all the sporty times would have had something, right? Like I had ACL surgery, but also like I have. Uh, I broke my thumb. I've, you know, ruptured multiple tendons in my fingers. Um, I'm probably developing... Um, I wish I could remember the thing. I have, like, tendinitis of the of the thumb tendons. Uh, and that that's no fun. Um, it's just my whole darn body's falling apart. But that just happens when you know you age i suppose but it's wild to me that like she's my age and she's never had like any surgery like i guess i should ask not even like wisdom teeth that's gotta count i'm gonna ask she said yeah we're gonna find this out not even wisdom teeth because i mean technically that's a surgery like it's outpatient but they gotta cut you open they gotta cut open your gums and Pull some little tiefers out of there. Oh, I wish there was a way to skip this. He ran away. That's a little bit like a skip. Okay. So Rydock Castle is somewhere. Let's read this sign and see what the sign says. Southwest is Sheena. Oh, that's it. All right, well, I guess we'll go to Sheena. Kind of surprised I didn't get in any encounters. I could save my progress if I wanted. Mm -hmm. Welcome, I have many good things for less. No, I'm not just gonna buy random things. You guys are so weird. 
Where's the actual buying things shop? Okay, let's see. I've got 93 gold. I already have the copper sword. Okay. Well, I'm doing okay. I think I've got most of what I need. Oh, that's the... I don't have money to store. Um... Well, I guess we're just gonna embark, you know? Try to find Rydock Castle, huh? Oh, that must be it. Oh, so many onions. Get out of here, my onion friend. I guess he's not really an onion friend. He's an onion fiend. Stop, please. Goodbye. Goodbye. Man, it is hard. Man, they must really want you to do a lot of early game grinding. Um, medical herb. Use a medical herb and put it on all your wounds. Yeah, all your wounds. You can heal. Okay, come on. I want to fight. Hello, onions. Excuse me? Thank you. Oh, good old Tansk is back. And <laughs> now he's gone. Um, man, wisdom teeth, not fun. Also, isn't it wild? Yeah, level six. Let's go. Isn't it wild that, like, there are just teeth in your mouth that all of a sudden stop doing what they're supposed to do and start just hurting you. Like, that would be like if you had arm bones and, like, you just grew a new arm bone that, like, stuck sideways. And it was like, sorry, those are your arm bones. I know it hurts and doesn't work, but... Because that's what wisdom teeth do. They, they come in and they just crowd everything out although i wonder if it's like a i don't know like a humans over the you know course of their evolutionary history are used to losing teeth like because humans have been around for like two hundred thousand years and it's really only been in the last i mean maybe 2000 that we've invented something resembling dentistry so maybe just in human evolution it's like yeah you're gonna lose some teeth and now we got some extra ones for each quadrant just in case because the the problem with the wisdom teeth is the crowding if i'm not mistaken i'm not a dentist right i just have had a lot of dental trauma in my life <laughs> um and I, I, like, I don't know. If, if you lose a teeth, then it wouldn't crowd because everything could kind of do, 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 shift in there and then you would still have teeth. But, like, I don't know, dog. That's weird to just have teeth that are like, I hate you and and harm you. Uh, this is the castle child of Rydok. Can I please see your pass? Let me see that. Oh, you're from Livecon. Rydok is a lot bigger than your secluded little town. Have a nice day. <laughs> when I grow up, I will be a soldier. Then I will defeat the Demon King Budo. Shut up, kid. Yep, yeah, right. Puppy! Woof, woof. I'll go to the end. Oh, oh there's... What? <laughs> Wait. Okay, so front of the show, Emily says she did have her wisdom teeth out, but I was awake for that. Okay, so I guess she just means, like, a procedure that you have to like be put asleep for because most people when they get their wisdom teeth out are consciously sedated so they don't remember it but they're not technically like out okay yeah i've never had anesthesia before well i'm gonna tell her that it makes you real constipated um it makes you very constipated i but i said constipated. Which is not... Nope, now I said constipadad. <laughs> Constip... <laughs> Hashtag. Doo-doo. 
<laughs> I don't need to use a hashtag. This is just a text message. But... Um... Oh my gosh. I kind of like this, like, talking to friends of the show while w doing the show. <clears throat> That's what he said. We're traveling merchants. Our horse became violent in a clearing to the west. My friend was injured. The horse kicked him when he tried to get on. So should I go kick a horse, or what do you what do you want to do? This is a bank. Shh. I'll take care of you. Zero gold. Just rude. Just absolutely rude. I would like a room. Thank you. Let me stay in a room. Let me stay in the room right now. I mean, I guess I can. Let's kind of see what... So I made enough cash fighting just a handful of battles that I can start buying those, like, mystery items, I guess? What's your deal? Welcome to my item store. What do you want? What are you purchasing? What does fairy water do? Wang of the Wyvern. Full herb moon. No. Full moon herb. <laughs> Tell all your friends. Tell it. Tell all your friends to come out over to the store and buy the wings and a wyvern. Oh, I found a tunic. I'm stealing things. Whoop, I don't want to talk to it. Hello, I'm in your house now. Ah, who are you? You're not my husband. Hey, your wife wants you. I heard that the king never sleeps. He's too busy ruling his country. Well, that can't be true, can it? No. You're stupid. <laughs> that, was, that was rude of me. No, don't talk to the pot. Wait, I should be able to just... There we go. I can just hit square. And it'll auto-search instead of having to go to the menu. I'm learning. I am a neural net processor. A learning computer. I dropped my ring in the well. Can you help me? You will? Oh, thank you. I'll go in there. Oh, I looked inside the well. Oh, boy. This feels like a save the game. Okay. <laughs> it's mine. I found it. Oh. Dark Hobbit. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Yes. Oh, 15? That stinks. Okay. Well, huh. He may be too tough for me, unless I want to just heal every other turn. Oh, I admit... There was something there that I missed. Ouch! Eighteen damage, holy moly. Let's go spell, heal... No, he attacked first. Okay, well, I may not be strong enough for this dude. Let's try it one more time. And maybe I'll I'll be much, much more conservative. Okay. Dark Hobbit prepares for something. I made the message too fast. Five. Ugh. Yikes. And he's... Oh, he's faster than me, so he's gonna... Yeah. Alright. Well. That's not happening this time. Um, so let's leave. Goodbye. And guess what? Uh, we got a couple minutes to do. Let's just go make some cash and find some big boys. And um, tell them who's boss. Out here. Not that guy, because he's the boss. <laughs> he said there was a horse over here somewhere. Maybe I can get kicked by a horse.
Ooh. I want to eliminate the number of turns. So I know I can get rid of the Tensk for sure. Let's go with the Onion. I might be able to... Yes, got him. Okay, cool. Because it was going to take two attacks to get the Squire anyway. I love his shield, but it's so cool that, like, if you don't look at the shield as a head, you see his little head behind him. Um, and I think that's really clever. That's probably where the horsey is. He's a horsey. Um, yeah, I think that's super cool. What the heck? Ah, Rory. Hi, I'm Rory. I hit people with bones. Okay. Well, 11 experience, 12 gold. That's not too bad. Okay, do I walk on this bridge? Is it a cut? Okay. Is this where our horse was found? Oh, dear. Ha. Huh. May have to do some healing in this battle. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, he's building up power. Ow. Oh, I can't change. Um, spell. Heal. Brand. There we go. It's kind of nice that I, uh... Got over 40 hit points now. It's building up. Nope, no build up for you, buddy. Nice. That's a really good chunk there. Brantley read the sign. Caution! Wild horse! If I recall correctly, you have to catch the horse for some reason. I kind of remember that from playing. But remember, I played this. I can't believe it was five years ago. That's wild to me. A squire approaches. Hello, squire. Hold this for me. What? You attack me. You attack a, a knight of the realm? Actually, well, I'm just a I'm just a dude from a village. I'm not really a knight. But I am the main character in an RPG, so that pretty much means that I'm awesome and you should leave me alone. <laughs> I guess we'll head back up, because by the time I get up there, I'll have like a good chunk of change. Um, to buy all the weird stuff that no one tells me about, but I guess is important. So weird to me when an onion heals its own wounds with an herb. It's very odd. <gasps> Treasure chest! I got a medical herb! Medically, medically, medically fit. Boop! Okay, I should have a... Uh, more than enough cash to buy one of these, like, mystery items. Oh, we'll talk. Welcome! I have many good things for less! Yes, okay. What did I just get? Oh. I got some leather armor. Well, I guess that's good to have... Wait, can I just send it? Take. No, I don't want to take. Put in the leather armor. And I think I want to put the pot lid in there, too. And I'm probably going to sell the tunic. Oh, whoops. A tunic. I can offer you 22 gold. Okay. I surely purchased it. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Please leave me alone. B, 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 B. No, there's nothing else. Great. Um, okay. I've got another minute. Let's try to get just a little bit more. Well, what, what do they want? I need to find out about how much I need to get. Oh, we got a message from spam ah 
You're too late, my friend. I've sold everything in my store. Don't ask me. Well, I'm closed. What? Oh, I have one thing left. I will sell it for a hundred gold. All right, goodbye. What did I get? I got another pot lid. Okay. I think that's dumb. What kind of armor do we have here? We've got scale armor. Oh, scale shield. I don't have a scale shield yet. Let's see if I can sell this pot lid. Well, so I just threw 70 gold in the trash. I want to make enough gold to get this cool... Um, enough gold to get this cool scale shield, because that'll make me the defense boy. Uh, and I'll be a little bit better equipped to take on this nasty hobbit. Um, oh, they, they, they got me. They told me I was a, I was a loser. They got to me quickly. Kill me quickly. Goodbye. Yeah, so I needed 270 gold. I don't think I'm going to get it before the end of this episode, but that's okay. I'm just going to fight a little bit until I need to go rest. I'm going to get one of the fur rats. Yeah, dude. Wisdom teeth surgery. It's pretty weird. Um. Oh, man, I got goosebumps, which means I'm going to miss some turns here. But hey, uh... In front of the show, Emily, don't worry about it. General anesthesia is pretty safe, and I actually have a friend who's a nurse anesthetist. Um, in front of the show, Jess, and she's very good at her job, and it's very safe, and they take very good care of you, and it just it makes you basically not go number two for about four days. That's probably the hardest part. It just makes you very backed up. It just kind of stops your whole system. Just shuts everything down. Just shuts everything down. Um, yeah. Friend of the show, Patrick, uh, who is a doctor, will probably also have some things to chime in on that. But, hey, um, it's a thing. It happens a lot. Uh, man, those onions are just banks. Um, but anyway, this is a good place, as any, to uh, safety save and uh, call it quits. Um... This is uh, this is our game for a little bit. We're gonna be doing this uh, every day for for the foreseeable future. So I hope you're enjoying this. It's a little bit slower going than your average RPG. There's a little bit more grinding, a little bit more battling, but that's okay. I'm enjoying it, and I'm enjoying getting an opportunity to just kind of like talk about stuff and have a good time. So hope you are too. We'll see you next time on Pete Plays. Bye. You said hi. Welcome to Pete Plays. Hi, welcome to the authoritarian takeover of Pete Plays. <laughs> well, everyone does the face of attack. Endlessly spin the ship. Hey, remember when one shark attacked me? Up from the grave, here Thanks for the coins. Here's my poster. The name is Ramen Flowbottom. I hope they remember you, shark. Orlingfun. No, I'm trying to not get hit by these. Things. Everything's normal. Shimbo. <laughs> Okay. Consider this interview concluded.